What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. And if you're not, thank you for coming back. I'm Becca and here on my channel, I cover all things fashion. I do a lot of hauls and I, of course, always give you my very honest review. For today's video, I am going to talk all about Lululemon's soft stream fabric and all of the items in the soft stream fabric. I've realized that I have a lot of items in this fabric and I thought I would just do an entire video showing all the different items that I have and hopefully help you decide if any of these items would be the best fit for you. We're gonna get straight into the review. Before I get started, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and if you like my channel. And as always, I did link everything that I'm talking about in the description below so you can click on the link and it will take you directly to the website. All right, let's get into this review. Okay, so let's talk about the material first. All of these items are, like I mentioned earlier, in the soft stream fabric. And I wanna talk about the material now just because all of these items have the same material so I will not go into detail with each item and I'll talk more about the features of that specific item. But this material is very, very soft and Lululemon describes it as a peach fuzz soft four-way stretch and quick drying soft stream fabric and it's brushed for added warmth next to skin and has a weighty drape, which is one of the reasons why I really like this material because it is really soft. It's definitely the softest material that I own from Lululemon and I love the way that each piece drapes and I like the way it feels on your skin. Now this material can be kind of controversial because if you read the reviews and you just talk to anyone that has this material, they may mention that watermarks show easily on this material. I personally have not experienced this. Maybe like a little mark, but it wasn't a watermark on the pants that I have. But as soon as I wash them, I didn't have any issues and it just came out and it just looked like normal. So I haven't experienced any watermarks, but I do have friends that have experienced that. And I personally asked them just because I wanted to know for this review. And all of them said, once you wash it and hang it to dry, it comes out really easily and it doesn't stain the material. So like I said, I haven't experienced it, but I have asked other people and that's what their experience has been. And on that note, I do wanna mention really quick how I wash these items because that is a common question with this material because I wouldn't say it's a delicate fabric, but it's very unique and you definitely wanna make sure that you are washing it properly. So I wash all of my soft stream items in the washer with like material. So I only wash soft stream fabrics together and I use detergent only and I hang all of my items to dry. Okay, so that is all the details that I have about the material. Now we're going to get into each specific item that I have in this material, starting with one of the newer items that Lululemon recently released. And I still have the tags on this one because I literally just got this in yesterday. And this is called the Brushed Soft Stream Ribbed Half Zip. Now, I have this in the color, I believe it's white opal, yeah, white opal. And I actually featured this in Green Jasper in my last Lululemon haul, but I mentioned in that video that I had a size four and I'm actually returning it and purchasing a size eight. So this is the new one that I just got in. I did return the Green Jasper just because of the size. As far as sizing recommendations go, I would size up one size for sure, because this is intended to be a relaxed fit, but if you want it to be an oversized fit, size up two sizes. The reason why the size four did not work for me because the sleeves were too short. So that's why I think that you automatically need to size up one size. If you want it to be oversized, like I mentioned, size up two sizes and this is a size eight. I have to say, I do like the white opal more just because I feel like this is a more neutral color. They have this half zip in three different colors. Hopefully they come out with more colors. But I'm a really big fan of this white opal color. So this is what the front looks like. You have ribbed, fabric right here. This is obviously a funnel neck. I love funnel necks. I love the scuba funnel neck. So I knew I was going to love this. And then you have the half zip, you have a kangaroo pocket, and then obviously the soft stream fabric is mixed with a soft stream ribbed fabric throughout the sweatshirt. So you can see how the kangaroo pocket is the ribbed fabric and then the funnel neck right here. And then there are different accents throughout the sweatshirt that have that ribbed material. You also have a adjustable cord to customize the fit, which I love. And you can easily hide this cord once you have it on. And I honestly, I love this. I love the fit. I love how I can customize the bottom and make it more fitted. Overall, I am a huge fan of this sweatshirt. My prediction is this is going to be the next 
scuba funnel neck just because I feel like once people start purchasing it, they're gonna realize how great it is because I am obsessed. I absolutely love it. And like I mentioned earlier, I really hope they come out with more colors. Moving on to the next soft stream sweatshirt that I have. It is the one that I'm wearing right now. This is the perfectly oversized crop crew in the soft stream fabric, obviously. And I have this in the color Briar Rose and in a size four. As far as sizing recommendations go, I honestly feel like this sweatshirt runs a little bit big. So I would stick with your true size. It definitely does not fit like the first one that I just showed you. And that's why I purchased my true size with the first one just because I was basing it off of this sizing and it's definitely not the same. So I would stick with your true size on this one. This sweatshirt is offered in several different colors. This is one that's been around longer so they have more color options. Even though it's called the cropped sweatshirt, it's not cropped at all, at least not for me. This is definitely more of a waist length and I was looking at the details of the sweatshirt on the website and it says it is a relaxed fit and waist length. So I don't know why they put cropped in the name, but you don't have to worry about that if you do not like a cropped sweatshirt. I really like the length because it's not really long, but it's also not super short where your stomach is exposed. So it goes really well with a pair of leggings or joggers. And this is another one that you can easily dress up or down. This is definitely a lot simpler than the first one. You don't have any ribbed detailing on the sweatshirt. It's just the soft stream fabric all over. I really like the sleeves because they're nice and long. And and again, the fit of this, this material just drapes really nicely. You have a really nice opening at the bottom and it's so comfortable. I just love this material because I love the way it feels on my skin and it's very soft and stretchy. So this is the cropped crew. Again, it's not cropped, but I am a huge fan of this one. And I honestly don't know why I don't have more neutral colors. So I'm thinking about purchasing the black one. Okay, so now let's move on to the bottoms that I have and this first pair is brand new. They literally came out with these probably like two weeks ago. And these are called the brushed soft stream rib flare pant. And these are 32.5 inch in length. And I have these in black and in a size four. Now let's talk about sizing really quick. A size four is my true size. And usually with soft stream bottoms, they run pretty true to size. So I decided to purchase a size four. And as soon as I tried them on, they were kind of challenging to put on, but I could get them on, but they're just a little bit too tight for my liking. So I actually ordered a size six and I'm going to compare the two because the size four fits me. I just want to see how a size six feels. So I would say if you don't want them to be super tight, definitely size up one size. And if you do want them to be pretty tight and snug, then I would stick with your true size. So I saw these pants in store and I held them up and I was like, wow, these are really long. These are definitely not going to work for me. And this was after I already ordered them and had them on the way. I just assumed that I would have to return them until I put them on. And honestly, I don't feel like they are that long on me and I'm 5'3". I think with like a little bit of a platform tennis shoe, they will be perfectly Fine. They definitely hit the ground. So if you wear a flat shoe, then they're definitely going to drag the ground. But if you wear like a platform Converse or like a Nike Air Force one or something like that, they will not hit the ground if you are 5'3 or taller. Now, if you are taller than 5'3, honestly, you probably don't have to wear a platform shoe. I'm just speaking from my height. And the one thing about these pants is there is a zipper right here. So you cannot have them hemmed at your local Lululemon. As far as the details go, these are a really nice high rise fit. And honestly, I thought there was going to be a zipper on one of the sides, but they're not. It's just like a pull on pant and you have an elastic band right here. And this is what the front looks like. And you have the ribbed soft stream fabric all throughout. These are extremely flattering on. I think one of the reasons why they're flattering is because the ribbed material goes down and it elongates your legs. And second, this material is just so flattering because it just molds to your body really nicely. The back has a little pocket right here, but honestly, I don't know why I would have a pocket back there because I definitely would not run in these, but I would wear them casually and I would probably wear these on a walk too. So maybe to put headphones or something like that or a key in there. As soon 
soon as I tried these on and saw the ribbed fabric, I knew that these would pair perfectly with anything soft stream, obviously, the cropped crew or the first sweatshirt that I showed you just because it has the ribbed detailing throughout. I even considered purchasing these in white opal, but then I was like, okay, Becca, are you really going to wear white opal pants and a sweatshirt? Even though I would love to, I just realistically, I probably would not. So that's why I just stuck with black when I ordered a size six, but overall, I am obsessed with these. I love these. Honestly, I thought I was going to return them as soon as I saw them in store, but I absolutely love the fit and I am really excited to get the size six in to see the difference between the six and four. So if you're on the fence with these, I would definitely recommend. I will say though that if you are 5'2 and shorter, I would not recommend these for you because they're going to be too long and you will not be able to have them hemmed. So that's something to keep in mind. Moving on to the next pair of pants. These are called the soft stream pants. These are in black and in a size six. And I feel like these are the original soft stream pants. I feel like this is like one of the first items that they came out with in the soft stream fabric and they are extremely popular. I just checked on the website and they only have one color available right now and it's sold out in all sizes, but they have came out with different variations of this pant. Like they have these split hem ones as well, but these are not the split hem ones. As far as sizing recommendations go, I have tried a size four and a size six in these soft stream pants and I definitely prefer a size six because I want them to be a little bit looser, a little bit more relaxed. If you want them to be more snug, I would stick with your true size, but if you want them to be a little bit baggier and you want them to drape more, I would size up one size. These pants are a high rise fit and you have a draw cord right here where you can customize the fit. You have two pockets and again, the soft stream material all throughout, it's really soft, very stretchy. And then this is what the back looks like and the length I couldn't find on the website where the length was at but the length works for me I feel like it's around 32.5 or 33 just because it's pretty comparable to the ribbed ones I really like to lounge in these I also like to wear them out and about to run errands I literally wear them all the time they're just so comfortable and soft and I also feel like they're very flattering and I think part of that again is because of the material I wear these all the time whenever I'm looking for just like a really nice cozy sweatpant that I want to wear in my house and also outside of my house I always put these on so I am a huge fan of these pants moving on to the last item that I have it is a pair of shorts and these are called the soft stream high rise short these are four inches I have these in a size six and in the color black and I actually just got these in the other day because I featured these in my last Lululemon haul but I had a size four and I talked about how I was going to return them and purchase a size six and I just got them in. As far as sizing recommendations go, I would definitely size up one size in these shorts. I feel like these run a little bit tighter than the other soft stream fabrics. And for me, a size four was just a little bit too snug and I prefer more of a relaxed fit. So I recommend sizing up one size. I really like the length. Whenever shorts don't have built-in liners, I prefer a short that's a little bit longer. And I think that these are the perfect length. I think that these shorts are very flattering. And I also like the leg opening because they're not tight at all. Also, they are always sold out of these shorts and all of a sudden they just did like a random restock of a lot of different colors. So I would recommend purchasing them now because I have found that in the summer months, they are always sold out. So now is the time to purchase these shorts. And that includes all the items that I have in the soft stream fabric. Hopefully this helps you decide in which of these items would work best for you. Maybe you don't like any of them. Maybe you like them all like I do, but I always like to mention the two items that I would recommend purchasing purchasing first if you can only purchase two items and I'm going to say first the half zip that I showed at the very beginning of the video. I am obsessed with it. It's an absolute must have. And the second item that I'm going to recommend is definitely the ribbed high rise pant. I just, I really love them and I feel like if you get your right size, they will be one of those pants that you want to grab all the time and I'm just, I'm a huge fan of them. Thank you so much for joining me in this review. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I will see you in the next haul.